Hi everyone, I just wanted to show you how I trim a quilt and the same thing applies to any quilt that you're doing whether you've hand quilted it like I have or machine quilted it. So I have got a ruler ready, rotary cutter, I've got a smooth flat steady surface, you could use a floor with a cutting mat or a desk or a kitchen table. Make sure that the quilt is really smooth and that there's nothing accidentally caught underneath like the other edge of your quilt because that would be really upsetting if you cut into that. So make sure everything's smooth. Now when I cut, I don't um, trim straight into this fabric. If I wanted to even out, say, a patchwork, I might do a little bit. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be coming away a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to be cutting into my binding, leaving a bit of a border. That way, I'm not going to cut the threads that I've secured for my quilting, because I don't want them to come undone. But if you've machine quilted, that perhaps won't be so much of a concern. But I always come a little bit away from the edge. So first of all, I'm going to line up as best as I can. Now you will find that this line will be slightly wibbly, so you need to find the best possible um, line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up there, and I'm going to line it up there, and then I can see it goes really off. So what I'm going to do is go between this point and this point, and I'm going to cut here, and then I'm going to move the work along, and then I'm going to adjust. a little bit harder because you're cutting through wadding. I've decided to use two layers of wadding in this quilt because I wanted it a bit like chunky, a bit thicker, a bit squishier. So I've cut away that and you can see I've got a line here. The exact edge of the quilt to the edge of where I've cut will be a little bit different all the way along but so is this line here as you quilt things slightly move but that's a really good line for me to follow. So now I'm going to move the work down so that I can handle it and cut it manageably. So I've moved the work down. I'm going to line up my ruler just from where I finished off my cut. And I'm looking, I can see I can get a nice clean cut here. Everything lines up as best as it can. There's, it comes a little bit away there, a little bit over there, but I found the best fit line. Take it down to the end. Now I can see this little bit of border here that I've added on is overhanging, so I feel quite happy to cut into that so that it lines up here. So, I've now got these leftover pieces. These bits of wadding, rather than discarding them, I keep them in a bag and I cut them into wadding confetti so that I can put them into cushions or little stuffed ornaments, so I keep those. Then this lovely piece of backing now becomes a binding, so it's either going to be a binding for this project or for another project, so definitely going to hang on to these two. Now it's just a case of working around the quilt, each side at a time, following that same process. <laughs> 